Welcome back. Today we're looking at how we can use dimensional analysis to solve complex exercises within the mole concept. The first thing to be done is to read the question. How many atoms of hydrogen can be found in 25 grams of sodium acetate? You need to remember that your acetate is a polyatomic iron with the charge of negative 1 and sodium is a cation which usually carries a charge of positive 1. So we'll have a 1 to 1 ratio. Choose either one of the wheels for the sodium acetate and write the formula NaCH3COO. And the other part of the question is concerned with hydrogen. So we'll make the other circle belong to hydrogen. As an exercise, I'm going to populate both wheels. It's not necessary to do this in a question. You would only need to populate the route which you're going to take. As we know from mass to atomic mass units, our conversion factor is one atomic mass unit is 1.661 times 10 to the minus 24 grams. I'm going to fill that in on the other side. One atomic mass unit is 1.661 times 10 to the minus 24 grams. The next thing that we know, which is fixed, is the particles to mole ratio. We know that within a mole, we have Avogadro's number of particles. Here, if we're talking about an ionic compound, so if we have one mole, of our ionic compound, sodium acetate. We have Avogadro's number 6.022 times 10 to the 23 sodium acetate formula units. Okay. Exactly the same thing here. From moles to particles, if we're dealing with hydrogen, we're talking about the hydrogen atom. So one mole of hydrogen will be equal to Avogadro's number of hydrogen atoms. Now we look specifically at hydrogen. If we look on the periodic table, we find that the molar mass of hydrogen, one mole of hydrogen, is equal to 1.01 grams. Across the wheel, one atom of hydrogen is equal to 1.01 atomic mass units. So we see that the figure is the same. But the unit is completely different. Here we're dealing with a whole lot of particles. Here we're dealing with only one particle, specifically an atom of hydrogen. Now, moving on to sodium acetate, if we look at the periodic table and we add up the masses of all the elements, we will find that one mole of our sodium acetate, CH3COO, is equal to 82.04 grams. And if we now go from moles to formula units, one formula unit of sodium acetate, you guessed it, weighs 82.04 atomic mass units. Now we've completely populated both wheels. We need to look at the relationship between wheel one and wheel two. Per mole of sodium acetate, how many moles of hydrogen do we have? And that's what we fill in here. Per one mole of CH3COONA, we have three moles of hydrogen. Now to solve the question, let's see where we begin. We have 
25 grams of sodium acetate. So we go to the sodium acetate wheel. Here we've got 25 grams. And we want to get two atoms of hydrogen. And remember, particles signify atoms, ions, molecules, or formula units. So this is where we want to get to. Let's mark out our route. All right, so our route will be accomplished in three steps. Begin at the beginning, 25 grams of sodium acetate over one. And now we're going to use the molar mass. One mole of sodium acetate is 82.04 grams of sodium acetate. Now we can cancel out both the unit and the descriptor. If we've got moles of sodium acetate, our next step would have moles of sodium acetate at the bottom. Per one mole of sodium acetate, there are three moles of hydrogen. One mole of hydrogen includes Avogadro's number 6.022 times 10 to the 23 hydrogen atoms. Now when we cancel out, moles of hydrogen cancel with moles of hydrogen. Moles of sodium acetate cancel out with moles of sodium acetate. Grams of sodium acetate cancel out with grams of sodium acetate, leaving us an answer in hydrogen atoms. How many significant figures should your answer have in this case? The easiest way to do that is to refer to your starting point, see that your answer has two significant figures. The rest of these conversion factors are considered exact. Thank you for watching and good luck.